isn't my buddy TSF? Yeah, like 275, but shorter. I think it's cool. How have you been? Cool. Your ears. That's too bad. Don't worry, we'll take care of that right away. It seems like you got my message, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, so we have a brand new invention. You'd be one of the first out of the lab to test it. Um, very low risks of anything bad happening. Don't worry about that. Um, and I also signed you up for Grab It here, which I know we talked about last time, but no one else we know we did, so. Um, <clears throat> which you've never heard of before. Oh, um, yeah, Dr. Morris has been getting on my ass about not writing enough notes. And Dr. Harris was getting on my ass about not taking your blood pressure and stuff, but pff, that seems super boring and I don't want to do it. Okay, first things first, we gotta do your ears. Let me take a look and see what what's going on this week. Ooh, oh man. Well, that's weird. I thought that they had been getting better, but that looks really... That looks uncomfortable. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you for noticing. I'm trying out a new style, so they're exactly the same, but they're gunmetal gray instead. I know, very sophisticated. Thanks for noticing. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not fashion brave enough to try a new style, but you know, a slight variation in color. That's right up my alley. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's gonna need some major work. But I am a pro with this, so you're in good hands. There are some really big, um, some big things going on in there. <laughs> oh yeah, George is going crazy today. Oh, we let him out for a run. It just made him nuts. Uh, he's kind of gotten bigger, actually. I don't know how, but it's like he just keeps growing. They've had to increase his cage size twice now. Well, you know, Dr. Harris for some reason has a really big soft spot for George, so he gets better treatment than I do. There we go. That was the big one. Let me just the restraints so but you're so good at uh, at wearing them now and they look so good on you you know <laughs> I didn't think you'd mind are starting to wear cool lab coats and I'm not allowed to wear a lab coat because only the, the lab doctors are allowed to wear them and they like to easily distinguish us by our 
by what we're wearing, but, you know, some of them are starting to wear, like, really cool colors and, you know, establishing their individuality and I just thought I might give it a try with my glasses. I might not stick with it and it makes me feel uncomfortable. Honestly, that you noticed it, I was like, oh shoot, it must be, it must have gone too far. I should have stuck with light silver. Okay. For two, we'll kind of take a look. I have an appointment with 219 after you. Uh, also, to test the new one. Um, now, uh, I'm not a big fan of 219, honestly. Uh, yeah, he's uh, not very friendly. He's really just in it in the, for the money. Mm. I don't think he gives a crap about the science, which not my friend then. All right, how are you feeling? You can you hear a little better? Good. Yeah, well, you might need to just come in more often if this is going to be a problem like this. Dr. Harris is very close to trying another solution to the issue, but she's kind of been focused on too many things. She's got too much going on. Oh, I think you'd like her if you met her. Well, maybe not. Uh, well, you like me, right? Well, you like me because I'm smart. And good at my job. Alright, well then you would probably like Dr. Harris. She's just a little less warm. She's a little bit cold. But honestly, that I just like. with the side effects on this one. Yeah, he just wants me to be taking more notes in general. I think he just really likes reading. Okay, let's just get into this one. Yeah, can you hear that? I know your hearing is not great right now, but it sounds like two of the dogs Sure, it's nice for you to hear again. <laughs> so let's try grab it here first. I will need to put the restraints on for this one. Not because anything bad's gonna happen, you just have to stay really still because there's going to be movement that you shouldn't be making. Okay, let's get the restraints. Okay. Oh yeah, this room has zipper restraints. Very convenient. <laughs> Alright, comfy. Ugh, I probably 
I should have put on my gloves beforehand. Sorry about that. Definitely putting them on for this one. So, this one you don't have to not know about it beforehand. I mean, it is what it sounds like. Grab it here. It's going to make your ears have their own gravity. It's not super strong, but it's startling. Well, it starts with what I do is it's part device, but the device needs adherence to your ear in a way because the device is completely powered by your own electromagnetic field. So, we're going to start with a bit of magic here. I know it feels kind of weird. It's um, tiny metallic. A solution that we rub over your ears. That's going to help adhere the device as well as power it. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I mean, sometimes I just forget to do the regular medical things like put on gloves but I mean I didn't want to touch the solution with my hands but, oh, don't worry it's safe for your ears it's just gross signed a contract, but I'd still be rather not see it. I have 
to attach it with tweezers because it's on in several parts. for you because you're wearing restraints but it's noisy today There's a little bit of cardboard involved, but it's also metal. It's just the part that I'm assembling is part cardboard. go in there one day, but I have to actually be an inventor first. Well, they are having Lillian, Lillian, they're having Lillian try out one of my inventions in the lab. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not allowed to talk about lab inventions. Not that that stopped me before. switch here. Adding the final touch here. I forgot about that part. There we go. Okay. Alright. I'm going to flip it on. Now, I have some little devices. You have to get kind of close. It's, uh, we're working on upping the power so that it can do all those things I talked about. But we're just going to use these little balls. Put them close to the ear and well that didn't work. <laughs> oh, they're just going right towards 
towards your ears. It's about an inch or two. Kind of. just piling up on your ears and they're staying there through the pores of the graphic ear pretty cool right let me turn it off Let me get let me get all this stuff over here. Finish it only take a second to get it off. Okay. Well, I need to take some notes about it. It doesn't work as well as I hoped it would, honestly. <laughs> I tried it on a couple other people. Maybe there's the power of your ears isn't very good. Cause I was able to get like three or four inches away to have it gravitate towards the ear. Yeah, well. That's okay, it's not your fault. You just have bad ears. I just gotta put it in my notes, but that's okay. Because what you're really here for is the ear brower. Oh, I know, it sounds super weird. This is a closing your eyes kind of thing. I know with the contract you signed, they didn't think you'd have to do that anymore. But this one was hush hush, and because you are the first to get it done, you know the drill. There you go. Okay, this is actually a fine powder. Do not ask me why it works on your eyebrows when we put it on your ears, but it does. Oh yeah. George is going crazy. This is lunchtime anyway. really kind of a hotbed for, for moving around your body. You're gonna get a couple inches of eyebrow hair. So essentially like, well if your eyebrows get singed off, or what if you get a really bad eyebrow cut? Grow them right back and try again. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Think about all those poor eyebrowless people that are going to be really thrilled about this. Well, we don't have any subjects that that have that problem. So I don't know if they've got like eyebrow alopecia. We're not sure if it'll work yet. But if you know anybody. You know, refer them. We can give you a referral bonus. Yeah. Well, the powder is in block form. I'm not sure why we made it that way. It's... Oh yeah, 
I'm good with eyebrows. Don't worry, I'll trim me right back up after they grow. And they will grow. I know they will. Everybody in the lab is done. Well, you're awfully curious. I don't know. Mm, yeah, I sound sad because I'm bummed that I thought I was getting to the inner circle, you know, and they're still keeping secrets from me. I just want to be one of them. Okay, I think this one's pretty well coated. I can already tell your eyebrows are growing. It takes about a minute or two. And only your, uh, I guess, only your left eyebrow is growing because, weirdly enough, do it on both ears. Do you want both eyebrows? So you could have one long eyebrow and one short one if you really want it. That could be a new look. I don't know. I don't really know about fashion. Well, I'm sure they'll let me in sometime. Yes. Way to pour salt in the wound. Lillian has. I think. I've never seen her go in there, but... I get the impression she's been in there. I don't know why they like her so much. <sighs> well, okay. This is just between you and me. No idea what's on them though, they're just huge. I mean, I figured it was like a Cheeto storage room. That's freaking. Freaking doctors eat a lot of Cheetos. You'd think with their medical training they'd know better. here so that I could see him growing. This one is looking pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it back up for you. It's a great invention. It's Honestly, making things grow hair, maybe with the right adjustments, you could grow head hair for people, which everybody always wants. It's like one of the things people study the most is to... worked great, and your eyebrow hair is a lovely shade. It has been known, so side effects include eyebrow color that's not your normal eyebrow color. Yours is normally like that, right? Yeah. But sometimes, like, uh, we did it in the lab, I heard there was some some results on the sheet that said uh, blonde got green eyebrows. Don't know how that happened. They weren't mad though. They wanted to keep them. And they wanted to keep them long, which was really weird. I 
I saw them leaving the lab that day. I'm just a little confused. Okay. Those look good. Okay. Oh, I totally forgot to take off those trains. Let me grab this. Fancy, right? Now they work fantastic. I had someone in this room before that. Well, never mind. Okay. So I think you need to be coming in a little more often for your ears because if you're having trouble hearing again, we had to clean them out more. But we didn't get to one of our other inventions today, so we'll have it for you next time you come in. It's always good to see you. All right, bye, Jesus.